My impression would be it's just like a jigsaw, you know, all these pieces scattered around, you know, everywhere. You don't know which one fits which one, but your job is to put the separate pieces together to form a complete picture. But it seems it's not that simple. 可能你们看到的很多文物修复拼接的那个环节，其实只是我们修复过程中其中的一部分。那么你要对一件文物进行修复的话，那么你可能前期就需要有大量的研究，像金属器，你要对它的一些铸造工艺或者对它的成分进行一些分析。这个样的话，你才能够为你下一步就是我们实际操作修复动手来提供提供我们更好的一种方法。我们现在就是通过一些仪器设备的检测。或者像 3D 打印这些科技的方法，要把其他缺失的部部位，通过三维数据的这种还原的形式，让它在电脑上或者在这些数据上，三维数据上对它进行复原。那么这个文物修复，特别是这件器物，它能够更完整的体现出来。3D printing technology, huh? This is something you've printed out. What if, what if this half is missing? And how do you decide how it looks in the missing part if you're going to print it out using the 3D printing technology? We usually, if there is a missing part, we use the rule of the three-dimensional printing technique. If its right edge is missing, then we can use the rule of the three-dimensional printing technique to print the three-dimensional part. Then we can use the rule of the three-dimensional printing technique to print the three-dimensional part. Then we can use the rule of the three-dimensional printing technique to print the three-dimensional part. But what if it's not a symmetry? 如果不对称那种的话，我们就没办法进行修复了。对。